Now we need to define an important term that will show up in the rest of this section. The force of gravity pulling down on an object is called the object's weight. W-E-I-G-H-T. That's the definition of weight. The force of gravity on an object. So take note of the following. Weight is a force. Weight is defined as the force of gravity pulling down on an object. That's the definition of weight. So weight is a force. We can also say that weight is a vector because like any force it has direction. And the direction of an object's weight is down. The gravity always pulls things down. We typically think of weight as being in the context of an object near the Earth's surface. Or you could have the weight of an object on a moon near the moon's surface. But this downward pull of gravity, usually from a planet, on an object near the surface of that planet. Now because weight is a force, it will have an effect on a mass and specifically weight will cause an acceleration. Just like any force can cause an acceleration. And you know this, obviously, if you drop something it accelerates down. It picks up speed. It falls and as it falls it gains speed. That's acceleration. Now we know something about the acceleration due to gravity. There's a specific number. We call it uh, we call it little g for gravity just to give it a name and it's 9.8 meters per second squared. That's the acceleration due to gravity. And remember what this means, meters per second squared. When you see that, think meters per second per second. If you drop something, it gains speed at that rate. It picks up speed at a rate of 9.8 meters per second each second. So if you release it, it's still, when you drop it, after one second, it has reached a speed of 9.8 meters per second. After two seconds, it will have reached a speed of 19.6 meters per second, twice that. And every second it gains 19 point, it gains 9.8 meters of second of speed. In English units we can say this, g is equal to 32.2 .2 feet per second squared. And that's the same thing. Instead of uh, feet per second squared you can think feet per second per second. Its speed increases by 32.2 .2 feet per second each second. And 32.2 .2 feet per second squared is mathematically equivalent to 9.8 meters per second squared. And this is the same for every object. If you drop anything, it doesn't matter if you drop a little tiny rock or a grand piano, it's going to accelerate down that fast. These numbers are the numbers that are the case for gravity near the Earth's surface. On the moon, you've probably seen pictures of people on the moon and they move around differently because gravity is weaker. If they jump up in the air, they hang in the air longer and fall back to the surface of the moon more slowly. Gravity is weaker on the moon because the moon is smaller. Smaller objects produce less gravity. And if you were to go to a planet larger than the Earth, then you would be pulled downward with an acceleration larger than these numbers here. So these numbers apply to the Earth near the Earth's surface. But these are basically constant, and they're the same for every object near the Earth's surface. It doesn't matter, matter whether you uh, drop your pencil or you drop a, a giant weight. They will all accelerate down at 9.8 meters per second squared.